Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, you successfully installed your first Linux distro. Now, let's unlock its true potential, the power of the terminal. While Linux offers graphical interfaces, the terminal remains a powerful tool for interacting with your system. Here's why it's valuable. Efficiency. Many tasks can be done faster with commands than through menus. Customization. The terminal grants access to powerful configuration options unavailable through the graphical interface. Troubleshooting. Many troubleshooting steps involve using the terminal for diagnostics and repairs. Don't be intimidated. We'll start with some basic commands to get you comfortable navigating the terminal. Most distros provide several ways to open the terminal. Here are a few common methods. Applications menu. Look for an application named Terminal or Console, depending on your distro, in the Applications menu. Keyboard shortcut. Many distros offer keyboard shortcuts to launch the terminal. A common one is Control plus Alt plus T. Once your terminal is open, let's explore some fundamental commands to move around and manipulate files. PWD. This command displays the current working directory, telling you where you are in the file system. ls. Use ls to list the contents of the current directory. You can add options like ls, l for a more detailed listing. cd. Change directories with cd. To move to your home directory, type cd. Dear, create a new directory using dear. For example, mcdir documents creates a directory named documents. Ermdir, remove an empty directory with roomdir. Let's look at some commands for interacting with files. Touch. Create an empty file with touch. For example, touch new file txt creates a new text file named newfile.txt. Cat. Display the contents of a text file using cat. Be careful with this command, as it displays everything at once. CP, copy files with CP. For example, CP file 1, txt file 2, txt copies file 1, txt 2, file 2, txt. MV, move or rename files with MV. You can use it to rename a file or move it to a different directory. For example, MV file 1, txt documents slash moves file 1, txt to the documents directory. rm. Use rm with caution as it permanently deletes files. It's recommended to use rm. rf only when you're absolutely sure you want to delete a file or a directory and its contents permanently. The terminal offers a wealth of additional commands. If you ever get stuck, there's always help available. Man. The man command provides detailed information about other commands. For example, man ls shows the manual page for the ls command. Help. Some commands offer an internal help function. Try typing command underscore name. Help. CP help for specific usage instructions. Practice makes perfect. The best way to learn these commands is by practicing. Experiment in your terminal and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Remember, the Linux community is vast and helpful. If you get stuck, there are online forums and communities where you can ask for assistance. Congratulations. You've taken your first steps into the exciting world of Linux commands. In the next episode, we'll delve deeper into managing software installation and explore some powerful tools available in Linux. 
keep practicing, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.